Known as one of the quietest suppressed weapons of all of World War II, the Delisle was the brainchild of one William Godfrey Delisle. His first prototype was a 22 caliber rifle. He tried a 9mm version later on, and then he finally settled on a 45 ACP caliber version. The 45 ACP caliber version lent itself very well to being suppressed because it had the abilities to use a subsonic cartridge. There are reports of British officers firing the Delisle off of buildings and into the Thames River in London to try to see if anybody on the street would realize that a firearm had just been discharged. There are other reports of the weapon's accuracy in which a British officer aimed at a duck some 200 meters away and took it out by a headshot on the first shot. However, the weapon's largest claim to fame was that it was supposedly the quietest small arm throughout all of World War II, comparable with the kind of accuracy and the kind of range it had. Of course, you held the well rod, but the well rod was really only useful at very short ranges in which you could walk up behind a German officer and pop them in the back of the head. The Delisle instead was being meant to be used for, you know, 50 meters, 100 meters, or even 200 meters with a 45 ACP cartridge by commando teams during the war. Decibel reduction tests during World War II revealed that the Lyle produced only around 85.5 decibels. Now realize this is subject to the testing materials, wind conditions, and various environmental factors that were around during World War II, so we can't go completely off of it. In addition, while you're watching myself fire the reproduction Delisle. Realize that there's a lot that goes into all the audio quality on camera, even with very high level recording devices. Only around 130 Delisles were made during the war, and all of them were produced by Sterling Armaments Company between 1942 and 1945. Now that number 130 will come up later on when we look at one of the production Delisles that were taking a look at here because we're not so sure if that number is correct or not. The rifle was a contraption of a number one Mark III Lee Enfield being used for the action and the stock. Then there was a tube that was added to this which formed the baffle system. This is partly why the Delisle was so effective because we're essentially talking about an eight inch barrel surrounded by at least a foot plus of nothing but baffles lining the entire length of this barrel. So you can imagine there's tons of room for gases to bleed out and spread out in here with two vents at the muzzle. Right next to these two vents is a non-adjustable front sight post. Moving down is a Lee Enfield rear sight. Behind the rear sight is a Lee Enfield action with a modified 1911 magazine that has been inserted into a modified magazine well and this can be depressed with the traditional Lee Enfield magazine release. Otherwise the safety, trigger, magazine catch and action can all be worked in the same exact fashion as a Lee Enfield number one Mark III or relatively similar to a number four. This would have been very helpful for British soldiers in World War II because they wouldn't have had to learn a new weapon system in transitioning from a number four to a Delisle. The National Firearms Center has three different Delisle variants. The first one is one of the prototypes, of which 17 were made by Ford Doggenham. The prototype it has a very crude magazine well and it has a very rudimentary leaf rear sight. On the production of Delisles, the official number is 129. However, on one of the production rifles that we have here, if you pop open the rear sight and look underneath, we've got this number 208. And the question begs to be answered, of how do we have 208 on 129? Is it a mix match of parts, or is this an actual 208th Delisle that has maybe been accidentally stamped 129? At this point in time, and with the records we have now, we really don't know that the final answer and really can't be definitive. And they have two commercial variants. One of them is a solid reproduction, but it's with Parker Hale parts. It was probably made by Parker Hale as well. Another one is simply a suppressed Lee Enfield, which resembles a Delisle from afar, but really isn't a Delisle one bit. Bear in mind, there have been more reproductions made of the Delisle than the actual weapons count that we have here. Valkyrie Arms is another one of the reproduction companies that produce reproduction Delisles in the United States. These have been filed under the NFA Act, and you have to get a suppressor and a short-barreled rifle license to own one of these. There are only about 167 of these Valkyrie Arms reproductions in the United States, so their cost has relatively gone up.
In addition, there are a large number of Delisles out there that have a legal length barrel and that aren't suppressed at all. Thus, there's a lot of collector interest in the Delisle for just having a rifle that resembles what these commandos had during World War II. Not available at the National Firearms Center is one of the most rarely seen variants of the Delisle, and that's the paratrooper version, or the airborne version. Apparently, there's only ever been one example of this produced, and it is in the UK. However, it was not at the National Firearms Center. The only difference is that it has a pistol grip instead of a rifle-length stock, and it has a folding stock that is essentially a Sterling submachine gun folding stock that is folded underneath the rifle when not in use. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the private collector that let me shoot his Valkyrie Arms reproduction Delisle. In addition, I would especially like to thank the National Firearms Center at the Royal Armories in Leeds, UK for allowing us to film there as well. And I'd also like to thank our sponsor, ProxyBid. They're a firearms auction site that really helps us bring this sort of content to the channel in a very high quality fashion. I don't know if you could find any Delio rifles on ProxyBid, but I'm sure if one ever shows up, they might have it for a good price. Either way, give it a check. Thanks for watching, guys, and please stay safe out there.